Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna I'm going to do a walk around on my Glen L zip. Um, it's 14 feet long and five feet nine inches wide. I started building it in March of 2014 and it is now finished and it is October of 2015. So it took me what, about a year and a half. Um, it cost me about probably around 10, 11, 12 thousand dollars to build. And let's see, I used um, ash for the frames. I used uh, mahogany plywood, marine plywood for the skin. I use poplar for battens and for car lanes. And various trim pieces that I picked up at Home Depot. I'll take you inside here. Here's my dash. And Everything's custom made, and my dash is finished with Verithane two-part tabletop finish. You can see there I have a vintage speedometer, an air guide. I bought that on eBay. Paid about uh, $150, I believe. And there's my MP3 player. And the stand, which I picked up a Canadian tire. My exquisite steering wheel. I got that on eBay for about 150. My rear view mirror, eBay. And here we go. There's my Bimini top from one of two donor boats that I bought along the way. I paid about $1,500 for two donor boats and used various parts. I pulled the 25 Mercury outboard off the second donor boat along with the windshield. The Glen L Zip is rated at 40 horsepower, maximum 40 horsepower. The 25 should suit it just fine. It's nice and light. It's about 125 pounds. I have, you can see there, I've got a couple of voltage monitors. One for the rear battery and one for the front battery that powers all the accessories. I have a Hummingbird fish finder horn button switches that power the uh, bow light and stern light there's my power amp switch for my my stereo my mp3 player the back to back back seats came off my first donor boat it's about the only thing I got off the, the first boat, donor boat. Back to back seats. The top surface, the hull, everything is covered in fiberglass. And I used, I think, Pettit Sapphire Blue on the sides. Um, Master Mariner Steel Coat, two part on the underside of the hull and Pettit white gloss on the top and Pettit gloss black as well and I built in a couple of hatches here just to make use to get better storage and you can see in there I've got 
by bumpers and rope and just a nice cavity to have for, for storage. There's my beautiful 1960s bow light. I bought that from a company in the US. Paid about $180 for that. Certainly worth every penny. They don't make them like that anymore. Look at that, just gorgeous. The flagpole is a is from a is the tip of a pool cue. Has a nice taper to it. And the pennant flag is one that I cut out and my wife sewed together. And I've got a trident W. And my last name's Wilson. There's my Shakespeare antenna. It's three feet. I wanted to show you my, my seats, my seating. My seats sit about five inches off the floor. And I have I've got paddles, I have a first aid kit, a pike, I have battery charger. I don't think that'll fly. <laughs> no, I I was wanting to build a boat, not a plane. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's got the uh, RAF. You got it, exactly. Yeah, there's my RAF insignia there. And my... RCF, you got it. My Superfly logo. Graphic. That cost me about $260. Quite expensive. And... Let's see if I can show you. Um, I'll show you the motor well setup that I've got. Let me just get around the other side. And here's my setup. The steering cable goes into the tilt tube there. And I'm using a 12 and a 12 foot cable steering cable. It's a little shorter than I would have liked. 12 and a half would have been ideal for my setup, but it works quite well. And I want to show you the back here. There's my transducer setup. My fish finder. My pitted tube for the speedometer. And oh, I also installed a 12, 12 volt outlet to power accessories and charge different things, etc. And if I can show you my my plaque that I had made up, let's see. You can see it there. It says Glen L. Zip, built by Josh Wilson, with passion, pride, and persistence. And let's see. So I haven't had it out on the water yet, but uh, possibly this weekend, and I think all should go well. It's pretty much set up to the max. I haven't really left anything out. I think I'm done. But uh, there you have it, the awesome Glen L Zip. 
and let me say that uh, I spent about seven, eight hundred hours, and probably some of the best time I've ever spent in my life. I enjoyed every hour. The sand, even the sanding wasn't that bad. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. I just love my Glen L Zip. There we go. It's my baby. There we go. Here's an overview. So I tell everyone, build a boat. It's one of the best things you can ever do. So rewarding. Mentally, it's just so stimulating. And physically, it's a great workout. So build a boat. There you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed my zip. Take care. Happy boating.